evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to Boardwalk Hall and the famed and Atlanta. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. Tommy Hearns is swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. A lot of advantages here with a speedy fighter against a fighter with low stamina. What does he have to be careful of, though? That he doesn't burn himself out. That he doesn't go out there so fast he gets ahead of his own pace. <laughs> Miss the target with that hook. Lands flush with the combination upstairs. Halfway through this round here. That is a strong uppercut there. Back to the body. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Good work defensively by the Cobra. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. And right from the start, he's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has a date and he wants to get to it. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. This round comes to an end, a round in which this fighter threw a lot of punches, didn't land a lot of punches. I'll tell you, what advice can you give to him if you're the trainer? Well, first of all, deal with the psychological part. Joe, don't forget, 75% of this game is psychological. Don't let him get discouraged because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his head he's starting to get discouraged. Just say to him, hey, listen, nice. you're going to catch him. Nice. Let's shorten him up a little bit. And you know what? He's moving his head, so go to the body. Because now you're going to hit him a little in the body because the body's not moving. The Cobra's got to deal with a cut on his cheek right now. The good news is it's below the eye, but still, it could get nasty as the fight progresses. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut? Look at that. Great work there. Boxing 101. Jab, followed by the straight. To the belt line he goes with a left hand. Solid right by Tommy Hearns. Halfway through round number two. Good right hand. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here today? Well, two aspirin and then go. Oh, no. Actually, I would say a little counter punching would be just what the doctor orders. That's a better prescription for him. down the final moments of this round. That's it! End of the round of what has been a very close and highly competitive fight. Teddy, how do you see this right now? I see it almost dead even. And I see whoever finishes the rounds, because in these kind of tight rounds, if you finish up good, the judges remember that. The final round, here they go. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Oh, 
Punch and move! Punch and move! Yeah, that's it! Good block by Tommy Hearns. The Cobra's timing with his head movement has been ideal. We have not seen his opponent being able to land anything clean up top to him. No, because his opponent is not making the proper adjustments. You know, when the head is moving, the body's still there. You can't catch the head. Go downstairs to the body. You paralyze that head. You start to take that movement away. Before you know it, the guy's not quite as elusive. Last dance, last chance. Last minute of the last round. Flush right hand to the head. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Fires off the hook, look at that. Right to the head with that right. Stay on the outside. Last 10 seconds of the fight. Well off the mark by Tommy Hearns. Final bell of a fight fan's fight here, but also the kind of fight that you know there's going to be controversy over the scoring. Yeah, very close. And the kind of fight where you could be influenced different ways depending on what you like in a boxer. You like a guy who's controlling the outside or a guy who goes inside and gets it done downstairs. The verdict is in, so let's send it up to the ring. So all three judges give him the...